Hello everyone, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and today I'm back with the latest Beating School Academy bi-monthly subscription box, which we're going to open up together and I can't wait. These have quickly become one of my favorite things to share on a regular basis because they're way more than just a bead box. So much thought has gone into the contents, you're going to find that you not only receive a box of materials, but there's a long list of perks if you check out the link that I leave right down below at Beating School that tells you everything you need to know about the subscription. But in short, you're going to have the opportunity to follow along with specific patterns that are meant to go with the box's contents and theme. You'll have opportunities to share your work with beaters around the world, join live workshops if you want to, bounce ideas off each other, ask questions. There's also a host of fun articles and events, inspiration and learning materials to go along with each theme. And it's important for me to mention that because there is a lot of value that goes on and beyond just what we're going to take a look at today. This is the fuchsia level box. There's two different levels, fuchsia and turquoise. This one is the higher level and it's 99 euros every two months. And this one's going to be packed full with the most contents. The turquoise level is a step down. It's not going to have quite as many things as you'll see here, but it's another way to enjoy the perks of the subscription. Not quite as many as fuchsia and not quite as many materials, but still another option for you. So check out the link to their website where you can find all the details about the different types of subscriptions. And it looks like if you sign up today, you would get the November, December subscription, which is what we're going to take a look at. I also want to mention that this ships worldwide, and if you don't normally purchase things in euros, don't worry. Their website is really easy to navigate and will convert everything to your local currency, such as US dollars, if you're in the States like me. But let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so I have a gift on the top, some beautiful faceted black glass drops. And this is a picture to go along with our theme. It looks like it's called Lucia's Light. And I'm excited to see some of the reds show up in this particular box. It's been a little bit since we've seen some red. They do a great job at switching up the themes and the color schemes. And definitely check out the Beating School Facebook page and YouTube. I'm sure Erica has done a great job, as usual, providing the context for this theme and the inspiration and story to go along with it. So this box may look small, but they always pack them so full. I'll slide that open. And let's peek in here. Look at all those bags of beautiful goodies. I'm definitely seeing some of those warmer tones of red and pink. I'm seeing a little bit of black and white, some silver. I'm going to take some of these items out. Look how much is in here all stacked up. And we'll take a look at everything sort of according to category. Let's start with some of these crystals and focals. This bag contains some 10 by 14 millimeter pear cabochons in the color Light Siam. These are absolutely stunning, so eye catching, vibrant red. I'm going to use my word juicy because they definitely look juicy and a generous amount to work with. As you can see, we have six, and I have one flipped over so you can see how nice even the back looks with that matte red finish. Up next is a bag containing two of the glass Rivoli's in iced red, and these are the 12 millimeter size. These are so fun. I haven't seen this type of crystal Rivoli before. It has sort of a galaxy effect or a sparkly look inside and still has a lot of that inner fire from the metallic backing. Beautiful facets as well. And also in great shape, as you can see, there is the back coating. Next are six pieces of the eight millimeter Precioso Chatons in Paparasha. That is such a stunning color, and you can't go wrong with the Preciosa crystals. They are just in wonderful condition, and I love this color. It's sort of a combination of a reddish pink and a peach or coral. I went ahead and took these out of the bag, but we also received four of the Siam colored 8mm Preciosa crystal chatons. Just look at that deep red color and 
the inner sparkle that light is reflecting beautifully from the inside of the crystal and out through the facets. And then next we have some of our Preciosa Nacre pearl components. This is a 16 millimeter half drilled button pearl in salmon rose. And this is in beautiful shape as well. That smooth layered nacre pearl coating in a gorgeous shade of peach. There's a look at the back and where that hole is located. So we may be looking at a component that we've received in the box that this will fit perfectly onto. We'll have to check that out. And we also have a bag containing four of the eight millimeter Preciosa nacre cabochons in cranberry. This adds another lovely shade of red to go with our palette. This is a little bit more of a toned down medium berry color. Very smooth and in great shape, just like the larger half drilled button pearl. And next we have a bag containing, it looks like six of the four by 15 millimeter crystal navette cabochons in moonlight with silver metallic settings. Aren't these lovely? You can see the coating that's on top of the crystal clear glass. It gives them a bluish and also golden shimmer. And we have the two holes that go through the base of that setting. So you can use those in a bead weaving or embroidery project. I'm sure Erica already has a lot of these items covered and will be providing projects. And I typically come back with a project as well from the contents. So I can't wait to dig in. And we also have a bag containing the 4mm Preciosa Sew On Rhinestone Crystals with the Indian pink color in the gold settings. This is a bright rosy pink. I think it'll go well with our Paparasha color in those larger 8mm chatons also. And they have the two holes that crisscross through the back of the crystal in that setting. Just like those navettes, we can use those in some bead weaving projects to add a little pop of sparkle. And next I want to dive into our seed beads. We have two bags of the Miyuki 15-0 size rounds in two very versatile and neutral metallic tones. On top is the Crystal Labrador Full, that beautiful shade of aluminum silver. And we also have the Duracoat Galvanized Gold. Always important to get the seed beads for these bead weaving projects. You need those for sure. And right now I have the size 11 Miyuki Crystal Full Labrador 11 rounds. And then our next bag contains the 6 millimeter Miyuki Slender Bugles in matte black. Lots of neutral seed beads we'll be using. And now in my hand, I have three bags of the Miyuki 11 Delicas. I have the Matte Opaque Espresso on top, which is a very dark brown, almost black, but you can see it's definitely not when you put that next to the black that is right below. The matte black in this bag right here. And then we also have the Matte Opaque Ghost Gray. Up next are two bags of Preciosa Round Pearls. The top bag contains the six millimeter in Salmon Rose. And then we also have the four millimeter in Pearlescent White. Here's a look at the Pearlescent White first. Gorgeous, slightly iridescent finish over the top of that bright white. And then that lovely shade of peach in the salmon rose in that larger six millimeter size. We are also provided with three bags of the check glass fire polish beads in different sizes. First on the top, I've got the two millimeter true two in crystal aurum full. And then we have the three millimeter fire polished powdery pastel gray and also the powdery pastel gray in the four millimeter size. So this lighter gray brings in another neutral tone, also a lighter color to balance out some of the darks and the other shinier metallics and also the bright reds. 
And then we have those perfect little true to faceted two millimeter fire polish beads that are so tiny, but bring a lot of golden metallic sparkle. Also to go along with our single hole beads and our seed beads and everything else, we have a selection of two hole beads, including the Miyuki Tila beads. These are in the matte metallic dark maroon. Lovely frosted brick red tealas with the two holes running through that flattened square shape. Next is a bag containing the Vexolo beads in Crystal Sunset. These are a great addition. They kind of combine a little bit of that peachy tone, but also the gold and silver and some of the more pink tones. These will be a beautiful accent to bring out all sorts of different things in this palette. And you can see how these are in a wedge-like shape and the two holes run parallel through the side of the Vexolo, one hole going through the wider end and one going through the more narrow end. Next is a bag of the Gem Duos in Powdery Pastel Gray. Those coordinate with the same color as those Czech Fire Polish beads in that two hole diamond shape, one hole going through either one of those pointed ends. And lastly, for our two hole beads, is a bag containing the Miyuki Half Tealas in Crystal Labrador Full Matted. Those are gorgeous. Actually, they have the slightest bit of a glittery etched look on the outside, but they are a more toned down aluminum silver color. And these are just about half of the height of the regular Tila beads. Our Academy box wouldn't be complete, of course, without some of our beautiful Preciosa crystal bicones. There's two in the three millimeter and two in the four millimeter size. Starting with the Crystal Full Labrador that's on top, we also have the Siam color. And then in 4mm, we see the Light Siam with the 2 times AB coating and the Garnet. And here's a closer look at all four of those colors and the two sizes of the sparkling Preciosa Crystal Bicones with their beautiful quality and a great range of these different shades of red and also the metallic silver to go with the palette. We also have the three millimeter Preciosa Faceted Rounds in Crystal Full Labrador. Super reflective and also faceted, just like the bicones, just that these are in that rounded shape with additional faceted angles and some of our more sparkly silver that would go really well, I think, alongside of the matte gray beads that we received too. And then we also have a bag containing the three millimeter Lock Rose Crystals in Silver Labrador. These are something I haven't worked with before. They are these little sliced Preciosa rhinestones with the hole that runs through the center. So you could definitely use these as sort of like a sew on rhinestone or maybe a glue on application. And besides the beads and crystals that we have taken a look at so far, we have a selection of high quality, beautifully curated components in different metallic finishes to add those special details to our beadwork. I'm gonna go ahead and open up all these items from their bags and then we'll take a closer look at everything. So up first, we have two pairs of gorgeous silver with rhinestone accent ear stud findings with those tiny little crystal details filling in those areas of silver some places the bottom post design having that opening in the center and those little tiny openings on the style on the top. Next is a pair of Art Deco chain pendants with the cubic zirconia accents at the bottom. They look like they are just dripping down 
that shiny silver chain and we have the three rhinestones in those elongated triangles at the bottom, the loop at the top where you can connect those to your beadwork. Next is the stunning duo of crystal square connectors in these platinum silver colored settings. You can see the loop on either side of those dainty components. Up next is the stunning clasp garden ball clasp in the silver color with that really cool etched texture and design. These are very high quality and sought after the clasp garden brand. You can see it just pinches open just like that. And we have another type of clasp with the rhinestone details and the floral like design that also pinches open from the side, just like that. Also included for us in the silver tone are six of the 10 by 14 millimeter claw crystal settings that are perfect for those red pear shaped crystals that we took a look at at the beginning. And then next in our golden tone, we have two pairs of these fish hook style ball detail ear wires. Next is the angel wing style connector with the gold color and those tiny little crystals that are embedded inside. There's two loops on either side and then one loop that is located at the bottom of the connector. And last but not least, we have an 18 by 21 millimeter cubic zirconia star pendant in the gold tone and encrusted with those beautiful crystals as well. Well, that wraps it up for another absolutely stunning Beading School Academy subscription box in yet another gorgeous palette, something different than what we've received thus far in our gorgeous metallic silvers and golds, all sorts of shades of red, some peach and pink added to our mix as well, in a huge variety of different bead shapes and sizes, as well as crystals unique metallic components and all sorts of things that will come together and make designing and creating from the subscription so much fun and also so versatile. It's always amazing to see how many different things can be created from just the contents here and designed by so many different people. We can all create such unique things, even with the same types of materials, which is part of the fun. So like I said, be sure to check out the link down below that will take you to the Beading School Academy subscriptions page so you can find out all the details about these subscriptions and all the perks that come along with them. Also keep an eye on Erica's Facebook page and other social media to check out projects that are going to be coming directly from these contents. There's always a ton of different projects and tutorials that you can do either through their live weekly workshops or through downloadable patterns. And I always love to dig into these, so stay tuned to see if I come up with something based on what you see here. Maybe I'll have a project in store in the future, hopefully so. I can't recommend the subscription enough, especially if you are into bead weaving or want to learn more about bead weaving. So I want to thank you so much for joining me today to check out this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have a favorite item that I shared with you here or what you think about Beading School Academy or anything else you'd like to say. Be sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and feel free to share the video wherever you like. I'll be back again real soon. Until next time, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day and as always, happy beading. Mm -hmm.